Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I am the Doctor. The last time you'll remember, after catching all the shows at the tops, I decided to finish up all of the quests to get Willow's collection complete, and we got all the teddy bears, but there's still a few other items we can get her, and one of them is in the Sunset Sarsaparilla Vault, which, uh, to save some time, I went and got the rest of the caps we needed to open the vault off camera because uh, hunting these things does get a bit tedious even if you have a list telling you where to go. Hey, so we'll go ahead and give Festus our caps. Yes. And be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Yep. What the hell? What's the real prize? Feeling a bit ripped off? Oh, the ripoff has not yet begun. You'll note we now have a quest called A Valuable Lesson. And yes, we're going right when we said left because there's rubble blocking the pathway to the Sunset Sarsaparilla Vault. 
So we have to go up a floor and then go down around a bit. And somehow we can hear him up here through the floor. Yep, here we go. And yes, the vault. That's our prize, a Sunset Sarsaparilla Deputy Badge. But there are two other things of note here. One being the Sunset Sarsaparilla known. Is this it? Do you think this is the treasure? Disappointing, right? Don't get me wrong, the gnome's cute, but it's not what I'd hoped we'd find. But, you know, the trip doesn't have to be a total waste. If you pick up a couple of those badges and bring me some duct tape, I'll turn them into something we can wear. I know what you all are thinking, and you are horrible, horrible, dirty-minded people. Sure. I stuck the flower in my hat, and it stayed there for months. So if you're interested, bring me two badges and a roll of duct tape. Yeah, sorry. Willow does not make chainmail bikini armor out of the badges. She just makes it so that they are extra sure to stick to your clothes. What's up? Sure. This is so easy to do. I can do it right now. It'll just take me a... Here you go. The new badges. And she gives us both, even though, you know, she could have kept one for herself. But we will go ahead and give her one. And boom. But there is one other thing of note in here. We've got this fellow named Alan Marks. And he has a really good laser pistol. I can't wait to see what we'll find. Do you think it's the treasure? Yeah, um... Kind of jumped the gun on that, but... He's telling the story again. And I have no idea how Willow beat us back here, but she's just that awesome. Okay, so... We'll go ahead and put on our own badge. Oh, and our fancy suit again. And you can't see it, but I do have it there. Okay, so, as for the rest of Willow's prizes, some of them are fairly easy to get. Some of them are going to require a bit of trekking, but thankfully, we have time. So, the first one, I think we'll go ahead and go to the 188 trading post to start, since it's closest. Parkour! And yes, Tiny Teddy. Which we take from this poor little gad who we never talked to before. And yeah, not taking that teddy bear. Hi, mister. I hope you're doing fine today. Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. You sell thoughts? I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. So, anyway. Great. What do you want me to... Let's go with me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you, but they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt, but you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack, and a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast, rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking, most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. And yeah. What he tells you isn't directly helpful, but there is a little bit of prophecy in there. 
And we should talk about here. I need to take local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl. Smiling sad. Brown robe. Name Veronica. Half here. Wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack. A key, some say. Forecast. Cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch. Thinking small only hurts a little. But it's a sharp pain. And then we can ask him about everywhere. Let me take a bull and bear over the dam. At each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Balls spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast? A rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. And that's all we get from him. But we have that tiny teddy bear now. Do you need something? No. All right. So our next stop actually be in Novak. Actually, it would be nice to stop here before we have the game crash. Should have seen that coming, really. But hey, we get the Doctor Who theme. That, that's worth dealing with, isn't it? And at least it saved before that happened. Okay, so we won't go to Novak. I think that may be a sign that we were meant to save it for the end. Instead, we'll go to Vault 34, which we have not been here before. I actually did come back here off camera. Because this is the incredibly radioactive vault. But there is something we do need to get from inside of it. I did think about saving this for being the most... I did think about saving this one for less since it would be a bit more action-packed than everything else down here. Plus, Willow does, does love hunting geckos. my own limb off with that one. Yeah. And fortunately, we can't take the rad suits off of these guys. If we were still interested... Or not the rad suits, the vault suits off of these guys. If we were still interested in doing that quest for uh, Sarah over at the hotel.
Yeah, that's right. Need the key to get in the overseer's office. Knock me down, but not out. And again. It just occurred to me. Why am I looking for the key? I've got a sonic screwdriver that I think should open that one. And the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed a certain thing over there, and yes, yes, we came all this way for that teddy bear. Oh, that fellow has some hit points, doesn't he? Luckily, so do I. And a pencil. Minor damage to the reactor, you don't say. Anyway, having retrieved that teddy bear, let's get the heck out of here.
Now this is the most difficult one of these to get to, and I think now you can see why I avoided doing every quest that made us come to this vault to get parts for one thing or another. I mean, it's not really difficult at this point in the game, but if you don't come prepared with uh, anti-rad stuff after the fact, uh, this one can kill you pretty quickly. And because we haven't gone through enough radioactive wasteland yet, our next location is Camp Searchlight. Uh, but there are enemies nearby. Probably the Golden Geckos respond again. Did I tell you that Brian played the guitar? Because Madame Zelda once told us that Bethy would marry a guitar player. Wow, we are totally sensing the mole rats from out here. Okay, not sensing enemies now, so... Off to Camp Searchlight. <laughs> because, yeah, Searchlight... We didn't spend a lot of time searching around here for obvious reasons. But there is actually one fairly nice homestead here. just to the south of the church. And if we come in here, a Sunset Sarsaparilla coffee mug, and a dino toy if we don't have that, but taking that one would be stealing, and that would be wrong. Well, wronger than everything else we've done so far. And we now have critical radiation poisoning, so I think now would be a good time to head to Novak. Because there is a doctor here who can treat our wounds. Oh, and note, I am so poisoned that the rad symbol is now in red. What can I do for you? Okay, well, that fixed radiation level. For 100 caps, not a bad trade. And our next to last collectible, oddly enough, is in the home of Jeannie May. You remember the hotel owner who sold Boone's wife into slavery. We have another high-quality teddy there, which just leaves us with one more, but before we finish up, uh, one other thing I forgot to pick up. You'll remember that what set us on the quest to clear out the Ortegas in the first place was checking some things out with Mick and Ralph. And you actually get a little treat it's not much, but it's a fun little Easter egg. If you go back to Mick and Ralph and tell them that, hey, I got things sorted out, the, <clears throat> the people at Gamora are going to start buying your guns again. Uh, and there's Manhattan again. Yeah, that seems funnier up until you find out about the uh, back room with all the extra weaponry. Really? That may have been overkill, but... Come on, I'm a gosh darn hero. Spoken of in song. Well, I would be if there were any singers left around here, but... 
You know, at least it's not as suicidal as charging the guy wearing power armor. I will give him that. Looking for anything in particular? That was a real mess the Omertas were looking to create. Glad you could get all that sorted. May have cost me some business, but at least we avoided a shit storm. Anything I can get you? Well, good news. They'll be buying from you again. Outstanding. You have no idea how much this means to me. But I think this little beauty will give you an idea. Pimp Boy, three billion added. And equipped. So yes, now we have a fancy diamond-studded golden Pip Boy. You also get one of these if you help the uh, bad guys Nero and Big Sal with their plan. Hello. Yeah, don't show Hello. Anyway. And it glows at night, practically. Anyway, we only have one more. And strangely enough, it's at a place we've been before. Help make our name. It's at Nelson. And it's going to crash again. Of course it is. Okay, well. Thank you for bearing with me with this, folks. Unfortunately, this does become a bit more frequent as you approach the end game, even if you're not running modified Fallout New Vegas like I am. And yes, strangely enough, you return here, the Legion Mongrels will respawn, but not the rest of the Legion soldiers. Yeah, we didn't get the chance to look around here too much. Because if we go into the barracks, there is a Magic 8-Ball. Congratulations, you've completed Willow's Explorer Collectible Challenge. Enjoy your rewards. Remember, if you've chosen to keep the bears in your inventory, you can turn them into non-quest items with the menu in the bungalow. So we now have an SOD motorcycle helmet and a flaming SOD. And what is the flaming SOD, you ask? Well... Flaming Sword of Doom. Which seems an appropriate time to put some points in the melee weapon. Yep, one of my favorite modified weapons, the Shish Kebab. Magic 8-Ball. So yeah, after all that, to get a very valuable, very powerful flaming sword. Let's see, the SOD helmet. Morning. Well, that appears to make me look something like a Ghost Rider, but you know what? Let's try giving that to Willow. Did you see that? See what? And she's not putting it on, but you know what? That's all right. Ooh, that's just glowing. But now we can head back to our little bungalow in Novak. Eh, 
And there's some stuff here you can use to change up the different items. And we can also use this to quickly sort through Willow's inventory, but we come over here. There's the teddy bears. Copy of Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And the rest of the teddy bears wind up over here as well. And the gnome and the mug and yep. Nice uh, little apartment collectible hoard we've got here. But um, with that being done, I think it's time to close this playlist out at least for a little bit because as you've noticed from the game crashing and our severely depleted quest list. Uh, we have done pretty much everything. Oh, well, we never actually checked to see if Ted got back to his father alive, but for the most part, we have done uh, everything that we possibly can uh, of all the quests we've got, apart from the DLC, and it's my intention to do the DLC as their own separate little playlist on this YouTube channel, but um, I'm feeling need to do a little change of pace after all of this before we get to the grand finale of this game. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and let you all decide what we do next. Do we go on the quest for Glory 4? Do I finally do that Pathfinder Kingmaker playing through like I've been suggesting? Or do we finally get it over with and do the DLC on this one? Your call, folks. I'm putting it to a vote on Twitter. Should be up long before you see this video, but if you're following me, you should see it. In any case, thank you for watching and sticking, me, sticking with me through all the crashes and whatnot. And I'll see you all next time. Take care until then.